Welcome to another new episode of the Get Organized with Declutomy podcast with myself, Shalina. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. Today, we're talking about one of the most neglected spaces in most homes, the garage. If you're like most people, your garage is probably filled with a ton of clutter, old sports equipment, and boxes of things that you haven't used or seen in years and years. But don't worry, today we're going to give you some tips and tricks to help you clutter and organize your garage once and for all. So let's get started. The first step in organizing your garage is to declutter. This can be a daunting task, but it's important to remember the more you declutter, the easier it'll be to organize your space. So try and do the declutter all in once. If not, do a mini declutter where you spend 10 or 15 minutes on one area in your garage every day until you declutter the stuff. Now, when you're thinking about decluttering, think of all these questions whilst going through the stuff. So have I used this item in the last year? Is the item broken or damaged beyond repair? So if you cannot fix it, if it costs too much money to fix it and it's, you might as well just buy a new thing, put it in recycling. Um, do you have duplicates of the item? That's a big problem that a lot of people have because they can't find it. So then they go and buy the same thing and then they go and dump it in the same place. Can I easily replace this item if, it, if I need it in the future? If you can, then it's time to get rid of it. If you answered no to the first three questions and yes to the fourth question, it's probably time to let go of those items. So once you've decluttered your garage, it's time to start organizing. The best way to do this is to create zones or areas for different items. For example, you could have a zone just for sports equipment, you know, like the tennis rackets, the basketball, baseball, cricket, whatever you play. I don't play much sports, so I don't have a a zone, but you could have a zone for just that um, sports equipment. Then if you don't have a shed, you could have a zone for gardening tools and soil and flower pots and all those things that you need for gardening. And finally, a zone for seasonal decorations. So they will be your holiday, your Christmas, your Halloween, Thanksgiving, if you celebrate that. Um, So have a zone just for that. And that's usually going to be in the back, far away. If you're into cars, there'll be a zone for your cars. Recently, I was working in a garage with um, parts for vintage, old, amazing, beautiful cars, um, which was just amazing, but that they were put into a shed within a garage. So that's how organized we had to be for, for these parts. Next, invest in some storage solutions. So I just talked about a shed, but you might, you know, want to think about things like shelves, cabinets, pegboards and hooks. The key is to find a storage solution that works for you and your space. So here are the options to consider. One trick that can be helpful when organizing your garage is to use clear storage containers. This allows you to easily see what's inside each container without having to open it up. You can also label the containers to make it easier to find what you're looking for. So I get these big containers from Ikea. You can get them from also from Ace. Um, They're especially good because they're hard wearing and they are resistant to heat more than say the Ikea ones are. But um, get ones that work for your budget If they're clear, that's better so you can see what's inside them and then label them if you do have a label machine. Another great tip is to use vertical space to your advantage. This means installing shelves, pegboards and hooks all the way up to the ceiling. This will help you to maximize your storage space and keep your garage clutter free. If you have a lot of small items like nails, screws and bolts, consider using a hardware organizer. These are small drawers or containers that can be mounted on a wall or stored on a shelf. They're perfect for keeping all your hardware items organized and easily accessible. And you can also label all these little sections as well. My dad is an amazing organizer of his tools and he used um, old tobacco tins. Like he didn't smoke, but for some reason he has a lot of these old tobacco tins and he labeled them. So he did this even when we were kids. So they've all got like nails and screws and bits and pieces, drill bits as well. He also has one of these hardware organizers, so he puts bits and stuff in there as well. And then a pegboard for all the tools like the hammer, the uh, screwdriver, um, chisel, any of the things that you need, the big tool items that you want to grab every so often. 
One problem many people face when organizing their garage is finding a place for larger items like the bikes, the lawn mowers, and tools. If you have a lot of these items, consider all installing a storage rack or ceiling hoist. This will allow you to store these items up and out of the way, leaving more space for your items. Also for the bikes, you can put bike hooks onto the garage walls. They're usually quite sturdy. Um, you can get someone, a handyman, to come in and do it if you can't do it yourself. Um, and put them on different levels for the bikes, um, depending on the age of the, the person or the height of the person even. Lighting is also an important factor when it comes to organizing your garage. If you don't have enough natural light, consider installing some overhead lights or task lighting. This will help you to see what you're doing and make it easier to find what you're looking for so that you don't buy duplicates. Another important tip when it comes to organizing your garage is to label everything. This may seem like a small detail, but it can make a big difference in how easy it is to find things when you need them. Use labels on boxes, bins, and shelves to help you keep everything in its proper place, and you can find everything in less than five seconds moving forward. Now, if you don't have a label machine, you can always get one of the label companies to create labels for you, or you can buy them pre-made and label the areas that need to be labeled. So don't spend money on a label machine unless you really need to. Finally, it's important to make sure that your garage is safe and secure. This means installing a lock on the door and making sure that all your valuable items are stored in a secure location. If you have hazardous materials like chemicals or sharp objects, make sure they're stored in a locked cabinet or container and far away from children. It's important to maintain your organized garage. This means regularly decluttering, reorganizing, and cleaning your space. Set aside some time each month or each quarter to do this, and you'll find that it's much easier to keep your garage organized in the long run. And if you do the mini declutter each time, that will help you as well to clear up the things that you don't need, want, or use anymore. So there you have it, some tips and tricks to help you declutter and organize your garage. Remember, the key is to take one step at a time and to find a system that works for you and your space and to enable you to find everything in less than five seconds moving forward. Thanks, as always, for listening to the Get Organized with Declutter Me podcast. If you'd like to get more tips and advice, please follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok even, at D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R-M-E. And if you don't want to miss the weekly episodes, subscribe to the Declutter Me podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Angami, or your favorite podcast player, as well as on YouTube. And you can pop into the subscribe button. You can press the subscribe button even, and the notifications will pop up each time. Hope you found this episode helpful. If you do, let me know, leave a comment and uh, spread the word around. Thank you as always for listening and see you next time. Bye.